You could hear me in the back because I don't have a microphone <laughs> and I don't want to scream. <laughs> We have to remain lively, lively in Krishna consciousness. So we, we are making sure, that's why we have come to see you, see how you are doing on the journey. Back home. Remember, that you started your journey or started chanting Hare Krishna or came in contact with the devotees. Mm, long time ago. Jala Kelly, how many years? Twenty? Yeah. This, yeah. No? Nineteen ninety three. Nineteen ninety three. So that is twenty three years what you talking about. Huh? Only two more years to go and silver jubilee of your <laughs> coming to Krishna consciousness. Probably you are the oldest member or from the first batch to at least from amongst the hmm, you are longer or this no. <laughs> yeah, there are others. So, uh, amongst so many people on the well, not not. A lot of them on the planet, <laughs> but a lot of them in Amsterdam or Holland. Only a few have come forward to join Krishna Consciousness Movement. And uh, this is not by chance. I keep saying this, it's not, not by accident, but this is an arrangement that Krishna's arrangement, he made the arrangement so that you could, could come to him. He has remembered you, <coughs> of course. We could easily say that he had never forgotten you. <coughs> but it is, oops. For then we, uh, we had forgotten. <coughs> but then, The memory triggered. Krishna made some arrangement. We came in contact with Krishna Consciousness Movement, Krishna Conscious 
movements, devotees always came across some kirtan party downtown Amsterdam or someone gave us a book or invitation to a theatre festival or invited us one of you to a Sunday low feast. Uh, so Krishna made these these arrangements. These different things became cause of bringing you in contact with Krishna through devotees, uh, through devotees. We also get bhakti from bhaktas, or bhakti, uh, bhakti comes from. Bhaktiya, bhaktiya sanjayate, bhakti, some statement like that. From, from bhakta comes bhakti. So some bhakta, some bhaktin, could be bhaktin, reminded you of Krishna and you were ready or Krishna made you ready and uh, then you are on this path since that time either 5 years, 10 years, 20 or years, 23 years or maybe longer <coughs> so uh, That reminds us of the statement of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Brahmanda Brahmite Kona Bhagyavan Jeev Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai Bhakti Lata Beach. Mm, amongst all those who are wandering around the universe, Kon. Kon is someone, rare one, fortunate person comes in contact with Guru or Siksha Guru, Diksha Guru, Vartma Pradesha Guru, and then Guru Krishna Prashadevai, Bhakti Lata Bij, by the arrangement of Guru and Krishna, Guru and Gauranga, we get Bhakti Lata Bij, the seed of devotion or devotional service, which you have received that you are, you are very special souls distinguished from the rest of the lot, mm. the masses. You belong to a class, mm, special class, that uh, you have been separated, you have been chosen, and uh, yeah, separated from the rest of the general public that is still going through the the routine of eating, sleeping, mating, defending and that's all that they do and keep going from body to body. So you are you are different. So once we get the beach, bhakti lata beach, we want to make sure that beach doesn't remain just the beach seed all the time. Hmm? From seed, dust a sprout. Hmm? Or from seed comes seedling. 
Hmm? That's a good word like that. Siddling. And then uh, does the growth into a plant on a bush before it turns into a tree and finally before you you could pick up some fruits of love of Godhead. So from seed to the fruit or we received the seed but our goal is the fruit hmm? fruit of love of Godhead Krishna Prahim so in between we the seed has to be watered the seed has to be the fertilizer. We have to be like a gardener or a farmer. After the seeds are sown in the field, the farmer doesn't relax and sit back. May he always he cultivates his field. Make sure those, first of all, the seeds are not, seeds don't turn into popcorn. Hmm? That could happen if this is very hot or seed is sown at the wrong time in a wrong field, not a fertile land or not a favorable time or the ripe, right, ripe season, then that could happen. So uh, it is expected that the spiritual master sows the seed, in the hearts which are ready, fertile. So cultivation is already done, and the seeds are sown. Then farmer has to as farmer does water and fertilizer. I better not offer chemical fertilizers. Mm. Offer the natural fertilizer, cow dung and like that. So different natural fertilizers. And then that seed will turn into seedling and keep growing. So this is the job. We all have to play those roles of being a gardener, hmm? being a, like a gardener's role of a gardener, role of a farmer. Although we were, we were not born in a farmer's family, but you could imagine what, what are the roles of farmers. I was born in a farmer's family. I have a lot of experience. <coughs> but I think yeah, you could imagine it's not a Serena also is not of that, that origin you have, or Indian, Mauritian connections it could make you more knowledgeable of what farming is, is like and what are the obligations of the farmer towards that seed and the seedling. When the seed that you plant grows, another unwanted 
undesirable mm, things also grow. And then what does farmer do? He, he uproots those other seedlings, other things which are growing, which he did not plant, but they're other seeds are, there's always seeds in the ground. They get blown from, from other, uh, okay. we don't talk about. <coughs> so those are called anarthas. And called weeding, you take the weeds out. So we have to be alert. And always remember, oh, this is the, I did not plant this one, but it's still growing. What is this? <laughs> this or not that or not that. So you have to make sure because all, all your water or your fertilizer is going to be borrowed or stolen by the other things which are growing. And you will the, the seed and that seedling, that plant is going to be deprived or get only a little share. The rest is just is going to the anartha party, the other others. So uh, and then When this, the plant is a small plant or seedling, needs a lot of protection. Fencing has to be there, so that the goats could come, <laughs> or some other animals could come, other parties, other forces, with their philosophy, there, this, that, they could, they could just gobble up. Mm. mislead you and defeat you and uproot the original could disturb your faith so protection, a lot of protection is required fencing is required now of course that fencing is a before the association our bhakti is protected in association of devotees. Bhakti grows in association, flourishes in as association of devotees, thrives in association of devotees. But those who are supposed to be assisting us and are doing favor, if we end up offending them in some ways. Mentally, physically, vocally, there are some offenses committed by us, then that offense takes a form of elephant and enters your garden and could trample all that you had been trying to grow in your garden of heart, you could say. Mm -hmm. Seed is sown in the heart. Because the heart, the soul is in the heart. Soul is base. Seed of the soul is in the heart. That's why we also say when there is chanting of Hare Krishna, during Kirtan Mela, they say, sing from the heart, sing from the heart, from deep within the heart. So, why do they, why do they not say, sing from the feet, or sing from the head, or add, 
sing from the heart. Means let your soul sing, let your soul cry, let your soul call out for Krishna. That's the idea. So, so in the heart region, soul has a base. But if we offend those offend devotees, Vaishnava Prath, amongst the all other ten Aprads are there. Vaishnava Prath, then uh, that turns into a big. Uh, huh? Sit here, come forward. could turn into a, an elephant and enter your garden and you could imagine the garden that you had been mm, caring for and trimming and mm, weeding and carefully cultivating. If the elephant enters, you could just smash everything with his trunk going here and there and uprooting things and his heavy bodied, huh? whatever keeps the fit, it sinks into the ground and the uh, and, uh, whole thing could get spoiled. This Vaishnava Prad, Hati Mata, Hati Mata, some term like Hati, Hati, which I left on. So the gardener, we are the gardeners, we're talking. Devotee was practicing Krishna consciousness. Practitioner is a gardener and he has sown the seed of devotion, bhakti latha abhij. Then he has to cultivate, care for that seed, and water the seed, fertilizer. So that fertilizer and water, according to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as he was talking to Rupa Goswami in Allahabad, he says, this Shravan Kirtan, Shravanam Kirtanam, this is, this is the fertilizer and watering that seed, which is done, I mean, you could do on your own, you could do in association of devotees, hmm? hearing Shravanam Kirtanam could be done individually or small group or collectively. Of course, Sadhusam, in association, this could be, even be more effective. If this is done, then, uh, then the seed which has now sprouted and is in seedling and the plant will keep growing healthy, will remain healthy. It's very important. So watch out. We have to see how we are progressing in Krishna consciousness. We cannot take things for granted or take it easy. Hmm? We have to be always alert. And then we have this whole ladder that we are climbing, journey that we said, the Krishna consciousness, you are on the path on the journey back to the Lord. The journey starts or climb up, growing, going up, growing and going up. Starts from faith, then anartha nivrati, not anartha nivrati, sadhu sang, vajana kriya, anartha nivrati. Hmm? Then come nishtha. So from Shraddha, we reach Nishtha level, Nishtha. When, when our faith is 
Paka, faith is solid, solidified. Are you convinced? The Prabhupada would ask from time to time. Are you convinced? Convinced. Convinced. Meaning, in other words, are you at Nistha level now? Yeah, Nistha. So, Shraddha is okay in the beginning, but uh, Shraddha has to be solidified. Or when Shraddha is fixed and steady, then we are Nisthavan. And Prabhupada translates that as uh, when you are at Nistha level, irreversible. Irreversible. There's no U turns, no more U turns, no more looking back. Only going forward. No ups and downs with with your Krishna consciousness. Your yeah, philosophically sound by studying shastras or taking part in satsang. So we have to watch out from Shraddha. How is my sadhu son? How is my sadhu son? Always we have to say, how is my sadhu son? Am I getting enough sadhu son? Yeah, we, I said that recently also. Prabhupada said, in fact, that to, uh, to think that I could make progress in Krishna consciousness on my own, wherever I am, in my secluded location, I could make progress. This is hallucination. This is, this will not work. Prabhupada wrote later to that effect. So we, we need, and this whole International Society for Krishna Consciousness, which is 50 years old institution this year, turning the Golden Jubilee celebration. <coughs> Prabhupada founded this with the primary principal purpose of offering association to the practitioners. And Sadhu Sangha is not just for uh, new devotees, Sadhu Sangha is only for till the time you get initiated or something, you know, Sadhu Sangha. But then once I'm initiated, I'm no, sadhu sang is, is required, uh, essential, at all the levels. <laughs> and even if you are advanced and you're a pure devotee, and that's the time you would never give up sadhu sang. The place where we wish to go one day, reach, in the spiritual sky, Riyaribo. It's full of sadhus, it's full of devotees, and we deal with them at every step. So, sadhu sang is from beginning to finish level. So, because uh, we The yogis, we are not yogis doing meditation in the caves. That was good for Satya Yuga. One, one yogi, one cave. And uh, two yogis would be considered too many. In one cave, two, there's too many. There's to be one, one only. And that was 
that is to be favorable for meditation in those days. But now, more the numbers, the merrier, more the merrier. That's why congregational, Sankirtan means congregational chanting also. We get together, together, we associate. We invite, we form groups, and we chant, and dance, and hear, and have festivals. Shravanotsav. Hmm? In Mayapur we had a Shravanotsav. Hearing, chanting, festival of chanting and hearing. So, uh, Sadhu Sang, we cannot survive without Sadhu Sang. This is our basic essential mm, need. Soul needs. Sadhu means other devotees, sadhus. Yeah, advanced devotees. <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, and every day we have to make progress in Krishna consciousness. Every day should be going higher, going forward. Tired. <laughs> so, uh, so we wish you success on this journey, happy journey, back home. Mm -hmm. Is that you have made that goal of life? Let us. I think it's. It's understood. You have come to Krishna consciousness. It's not just some social organization, just get together and time pass or some because human beings are social animals. We need society. So with, that's not the idea of this international society. But it's society for Krishna consciousness. So take to this process seriously. Time is passing. It's gone, gone. So it's a, and there are fixed number of breaths we have, <laughs> a fixed number of days or years we have. We are not here in this body, at least not forever. Soul is eternal, but uh, we have this rare human birth. And bhaji ba baliya ese samsara ese samsara bhitare bhuliya rahile tumi avidya arabhare Bhakti Vinod Thakur in that famous song Jeev Jago, Jeev Jago Wake up sleeping soul, wake up hmm. Wake up call Who is calling? Gora Chan the Bole, Gora Chan, Gauranga Mahaprabhu is calling. How long, how much longer are you going to be sleeping? Not just on, on the bed, <laughs> sleeping in the lap of which called Maya. Maya is a witch. So how long, how long, how long? Get up, wake up. Hmm? 
And then Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, Don't you remember when you were in the womb of your mother? Hmm? This is based on what Lord Kapil lives. Oh, that, that chapter in Bhagavatam. The souls <coughs> are the child in the womb of the mother when there's so much inconvenience, so much inconvenience mm, for the baby in the womb. Mm. We don't, we can't even imagine, but Kapil Dev, Lord Kapil, Lord, if anybody knows, Lord knows, because he is the one who has made all those, the causing inconvenience uh, within the womb of the mother. So when there is so much, uh, the four, four suffering, cause of suffering, birth, death, old age, disease. So suffering related with birth is not when you are just taking birth on the day of the birth, that day, only there is a suffering, one day suffering. The mother is suffering and the baby is suffering or inconvenience. For the child, mm, is the suffering at every moment. Can't even relax. <laughs> Can't even move <laughs> like this. And uh, eaten up, beaten up. Mm. Yeah, if you read what Lord Kapil Dev says, the hair will stand on end if you if you realize what Kapil Bhagwan <coughs> says about. Anyway, so anyway, Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, Did you not remember that time when you were suffering in the womb of your mother? You were you were praying to me, or praying to the Lord. Lord Oh Lord, you know, just this, just one, just one time, just, just one time, this time, get me out of here. My promise. Bhajiba. Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Bhajiba Baliya. You promise, my dear Lord, I will, I will worship you. I will dedicate my whole life unto you. Just release me now, please. Give me relief. Get me out of here. Bajiva Baliya Ese Samsara Bhitare Samsara. You entered promising this to the Lord. You entered this material existence. You were born, but then Bhuliya Rahile Tami Avidyara Bhare. But again you forgot. You are covered over, you are surrounded by your dear and near ones and uh, again that was thing of the past, that promise, that prayer, I will worship my dear Lord. Avidya Bhare. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Toma bina ke dayalu, not toma bina. Avidyara bhare. Tomara laitiyami. Tomara laitiyami. Hoina avatar. Just for your sake, I have taken this appearance. I have appeared as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And. Yeah, there's one more. And uh, and who, who who is besides me? Who is your friend? Who is really going to help you out? 
I was the one who helped you out or you promised that you would worship me. So I, okay, I, you're out of there. But then after appearance of taking birth, I'm the one who, who but me is your friend, who there's no one else. So then I have brought this initial Shidi Maya, Nasibara Lagi, Harinama, Lahotomi Magi. So I have brought this, this medicine, Aushadi, in the form of the holy name. So please take this, take the shelter of this holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. Then Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, My dear Lord, I beg for that holy name. You're offering and I'm I'm begging you, please give me that name. So that name has reached you, reached us. We have that that name. And that name is Krishna. That name is Krishna. And when we take initiation, we we promise again. We are promised in the womb to the Lord. Yes, I will worship my dear Lord. And then we promise the spiritual master, the fire, Paramatma, the Vaishnavas, and other witnesses, we promise to chant the holy name of the Lord and follow the principles and practices of Krishna consciousness. We promise to practice Krishna Consciousness or also propagate Krishna Consciousness. One kind of promise to stay in ISKCON for the rest of our life, stay loyal and active within Hare Krishna movement. So. Uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Mm -hmm. So this is the Golden Jubilee year of Iskan. And uh, some golden opportunity is there for all of you in this region, those who are from this part of Holland, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Den Haag. Opportunity of building a temple, Radha Krishna temple, huh? Radha Krishna, of course. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would be there. So that is finally. And that getting land was not easy, it was a tough. We're talking with Shamsundar Prabhu.
as I said, so many other Hindu groups or part parties fighting and to get that piece of land. But only Iskan ended up getting besides Gurudwara and one Arya Samaj. So there are so many others were also after that land, but only this con ended up getting that piece of land. And uh, so land has been duly registered and all the all the hurdles took years to finalize undergo all the formalities and follow the procedures and paperwork and negotiation and now it's all set that land will be worshipped Bhumi, Bhumi means land, puja, worship land will be worshipped sanctified and worshipped and prepared. That's like a setting the scene for building the temple. So that setting the scene will that scene will take place on on fifteenth of May, which is just fifteen or so days, two weeks or so away. So, uh, it's going to be your temple for you, temple for you. The Lord is, so the Lord could advent uh, in the form of deity, he could take avatar. And that palace, small and beautiful, with the Vedic design, some, some features of... Vastu. Hmm? Vastu also. Was according to Vastu. So, uh, the government, government giving land to Iskand and allowing us to build it according to Vastu and some Vedic design. This is this probably has not happened. When it's happening. So we should all get behind. This project. Kaina Manasa Vacha Kevala Irindri Yerapi. They were Tan Mandhan, they say. Offer your bodies physically, you could also do things. Shramadan, or give your ideas, give your funds. Give your life pranair arthai dhya vacha. According to Bhagavatam, it says, Give your pran, give your all, all your real or your real self. Give everything. Arthai. Give something that is very dear. Wealth is dear. Hard earned money. Offer that in service of the Lord. Prana idartha dhiya. Dhiya means intelligence. If you have some good ideas about whatever design or about fundraising, about promotion, about this, that, they are welcomed. Vacha. 
nothing else than this good ideas, you could talk about good ideas to others, carry the message, propagation, preaching. So, uh, so if you could launch this program, these temples, construction, it's all set. It's going to happen. I'm yeah, unfortunate I couldn't be there. I was willing to be there, but uh, then the auspicious moment or auspicious day was not coinciding with my euro. Visit. <coughs> but I'll be there in spirit. I'll, uh, if we had all the money, mm, in one go or Temple could be built in three months, contractor says. Yes. Mm. Come up with all the all the estimated amount and you will build in three months. So it's challenging you. if not three months. This year is <coughs> Golden Jubilee celebration year is still another eight eight months to go. Till end of the year this is Golden Jubilee celebration. If not in three months, maybe eight months, remaining eight months if you could complete. That could be also a glorious thing to do. And uh, of course, our generation will move on, leaving the temple and the deities and whole establishment behind for the benefit of next and the next and all the many generations to come. And I'll be very grateful, thankful for leaving the monument, the heritage behind. Next generation would be very thankful for all those who we're responsible for. Mm. And Krishna consciousness would be more solidly established. We would be no more visitors or just in rented place or just, just somewhere in a corner. But this will be in more center, in the center of the scene here. And will be taken more seriously. Krishna consciousness would be. So all, each one of you have a obligation. Okay. Any questions, comments, discussion points? I think you're all from this region, except you are from little, little distance where terrorists are active. 
terrorists. So we have to be more active than them. They placed a bomb where we are delivering prasadam to the offices of the European Union. And every day we come there on our bicycle Maharaj. Yeah. Two hundred meters away. Oh, it was about that time? Some of us. Prashadam. Explosion. All that is bad is thrown out or destroyed. So a nice heart is built. For soul, mm. super soul. Any anything? Maharaj, uh, 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 I would like to ask you uh, uh, some concerns about this con development last month. Many things coming up. Um, to be honest, to open my heart, I'm kind of disappointed when I, from the point of view, I see things, how, hap what's happening around, uh, not so nice things, but actually... The Mayapur are around... General, general, only, not only Mayapur. See, uh, many things happening who are against our principles, what we learn from Shiva Prabhupada. It seems to me that our leaders also know, know about many bad things happening, but it's not being done about it. So, um, can you please give us some... Looks like this one is going not really good direction at the moment. Yeah, I'm not aware of. I don't know what you're referring like to. Ch child misuse is still happening in the Guru in Vrindavan. I heard a lot of corruption is there. Power misuse. I think there's a, a system in place. I mean, child abuse, we have all of uh, child protection office and they are pretty active. Sooner or later they're going to be catching up with whatever abuse takes place. They don't spare. Zero tolerance is our policy comes to child abuse. So it will not be tolerated. Maybe some delay, I don't know. But uh, you'll go for the culprit and uh, the action taken. Yeah, you could, if you know something more than others, you could tell, tell the leaders responsible, remind them. I don't know how, but I mean, it's coming up. And some people who well, are inside, they're telling the leaders who are having power, they are protected. But they well, there's always, there's always, leader on the top of the other leader and uh, there are layers so uh, for sure there's uh, about them there are leaders and about them the <coughs> way so, uh, they can take action they will take action 
Yeah, especially this is Golden Jubilee celebration year. So, attempt is <coughs> strength and is gone. Solidify is gone. Or make the base of is gone. Foundation, solid foundations. So there's going to be extra care and attention this year <coughs> to all aspects of this gone or management. <coughs> yeah, whatever was going on in Mayapur, yeah, there's a lot of action is being taken to rectify those wrongdoings or substandard things or ill motivations or we have no one is sitting idle those of no GBCs and Bureau and News may not reach you, or you may not know all the developments. But uh, these are actions. So, see what you could do at your level. practicing and propagating principles. Each one, each one or each one has obligation. Books are the basis or foundation also. Yeah, Prabhupada. In Germany, during Prabhupada days, the GBCs of the area was stressing so much <coughs> book distribution. And in one sense it was good news, lots of book distribution, lot of stress on book distribution. The Prabhupada wrote a letter to the leader there, GBC there, said because Prabhupada wanted the books he, Prabhupada wrote said, books are not only for for selling books are also for reading so book sales are being stressed by the leaders but book reading is not emphasized by the leaders and this will weaken our movement so foundation is reading books. Books are the basis. Our foundation, yeah. foundational principles are there. 
following regular, four regular day principles. By following that, it would make, make us make this moment stronger. If each one is strong, then total, grand total will be a strength also strong. And if we are, our relationships with the devotees around us that we work with or we stay with or they are strong, healthy, then that's a, that's a foundational thing. I mean, uh, we see uh, a big tree and branches spread out and tall, the trunk and then those trees have, the, the, the roots are also spread and the ground almost or as much as the branches spread out, the roots are also spread out in the ground. What if the branches and the whole tree is tall and you know, but the uh, the trunk and the, the roots are, are not strong or weak, then that Thing will not be on the held, no, standing in the air or on the ground. For both has to be there, the foundation, and then in the foundation you could erect tall structures. Of yeah, the foundation is so. how we are grounded. <coughs> and this wall, I don't know, this, uh, I don't know this, is, this may not be a brick wall, but if this is a brick wall, then uh, if we just keep brick layers and another layer of bricks on the top up there, just place that. And there's no cement in between the bricks on top of each other or next to each other. Then that whole wall, you just push a little bit uh, it will collapse. A little wind coming through will all fall apart. So what is required is not just the bricks but the, the cement, cementing between the bricks. So we could say that we are bricks in our relationship or friendship or reciprocation, Krishna conscious dealings that we do with the devotees. Dadati pratigrannati bhungte bhojayate chayva sharvidam priti lakshanam That's, uh, That will make the house strong or foundation strong. Otherwise, just individual, another, another individual, but there's no relationship then. Then it's like a crowd, but not uh, assembly. Mm, crowd, crowd, but not, uh, not a team. Mm. People come here from there, they come, they just 
crowd gathers and after whatever event, something, they all go and there is no more communication or there is no relationship developed, or no, there is no nothing. Mm. They come, crowd and go. So we want, of course, so when we have functions, a festival, crowds come, but then we want to transform that, transform that crowd into a team. Transform that, that crowd into a family or association or a union. And that would make, yeah, that's, that's our strength is in that. The purity is a force and all that is also. Chanting the Hare Krishna. We all chant Hare Krishna, but then we are not hers. We become free from anarthas. Mm, then we become pure and strong. But if we don't work on the anarthas, getting rid of anarthas, then, well, we exist, but we would remain a weak individual. And, uh, and that would, one week person, another week, another week, another week, grand total would be a, Lots of weakness. So then, say so one generation, another generation, say so the, the lower level generation or the foundational generation is, is weak. The one on the top of that is going to be Mm, the lower one would be sinking, not holding that, but would go down. Yeah, that's some books out of the basis, reading or chanting, becoming free from anarthas, becoming strong devotees. Mm building a, a family of devotees, not just remaining as a crowd, but uh, <coughs> as a unit, as a team, you know, united we stand, isn't it? united we stand, divided we fall, if we are united, united. The same purpose, same goal. Unite. Then we're strong. United around Krishna. Krishna centered. Prabhupada is our founder, Acharya. Or GBC. Ultimate manager, managers. Strong GBC because I keep the moment united. Hmm? Right? Something like that. Yeah? Anything? Maharaj, could you maybe please talk uh, like five minutes about qualities of Krishna? Thanks, Charaka. <laughs> hey, Krishna. Karuna Sindhu. Quality right there. His ocean of mercy, Karuna Sindhu. Dina Bandhu. 
is a friend of poor Gopesha is the Isha of master of the gopis Gopesha Gopika Kanta husband beloved of gopis Gopesha Gopika Radha Kanta oh, these are also some of the qualities of Krishna when he appeared as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he exhibited a very special quality what was that? the kindness <coughs> kindness Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Daya Karamo De Toma Bina Ke Dayalu Jagata Sansare that, uh, yeah. The Yaluf, Lord became kind, magnanimous. Magnanimity is a special quality of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm-hmm. 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 It's a list of 64 qualities. Well, there's a, there had to be some list of 64. There's one list of qualities, but that's not the... <coughs> Lord is grateful. <coughs> Lord is grateful. If you do some service, some Lord remembers and then you would like to do something in return for for what you had done for him. He's not ungrateful, he's a grateful. Krishna was one time assisting in the kitchen cutting vegetables <coughs> but not having experience of cutting vegetables he ended up cutting his his finger maybe he was cutting lady's finger mm-hmm. but then he cut his own finger there was a bleeding and ladies around we're thinking that hey, something has to be some bandage, some cloth, some including Subhadra. They're looking for some to bind bandage. All the clothes that they were looking at, they were they were thinking it's too good. How could we tear this into pieces? This is this sorry, this is my silk sorry, this is my marriage sorry, this is my. <laughs> so we're just still looking and looking. But when Draupadi came to know, she did not go anywhere looking for. Hmm, on the spot, she. A piece of hers. And she cut part of her sorry little portion and tied. So this service that she did, they make the connection like that, that when Draupadi was in assembly, was being disrobed by Dushas and, and company. And then they, she cried for help. Hey Krishna, hey Govinda. And then Lord, a 
appeared and reciprocated by supplying unlimited sorry. So for little sari was invested in service of, of Krishna. And Krishna gave a big bundle, a big the heap of saris. The Lord is grateful. Bhakti Rasamra Sindhu. This is this example is not from there, but the list of one one quality of Krishna and they give example. Compassion, another example. Being friendly, another example. Expert, another example. Like that. So he is full of qualities. He is not Nirgun. And Hindus, they always talk. Lord is Nirakar. Nirgun. This is a mantra they always chant. Nirakar, Nirgun. Nirakar, Nirakar. Akar means form. Oh, he has no form. Nirgun, no qualities. Is is no quality, no form. So these are they are ignorant fools. Devotees, devotees know. And if you don't know his qualities, that means you don't know him, that's all. Or you know him just partially, you know something. But if you don't know his qualities, then, then you don't know him. A lot of Lord, most of the Lord, you don't know. If you say Lord has no qualities. Yeah. Huh? Uh, you will sing? <laughs> oh, I thought it's time for a little prasad for you and today was more talk, no kirtan. Now I think I'm trying to give rest to my voice. That's the reason I did not go out on Kirtan out. Using a throat. Oh, we have other, yeah, Sundarlal could sing. And uh, the big Kirtan Mela is awaiting us. So. They already spoke a little too much. So we stop here or Rangavati, right? Rangarani. 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 Yes, Rangarani. I have one question. I can't that, um, Lord Krishna is always so elaborately described in the scriptures, all his qualities. Um, um, Srimati Radharani, on the other hand, she's called the mystery of Vrindavan. And I always what? She, right. she's always hidden, you know? Like she's called the mystery of Vrindavan. Mystery. Yeah. Mm. And I always wondered why that is, because she is most important to us as, as the guardian of devotion. Why is she always kept so secretly? Could you please tell her? Yeah, well. <laughs> most precious jewels that you may have, <laughs> what do you do? You hide it, yeah. That proves how, con how valuable, how confidential. So she is more precious than Krishna, because Krishna is not that Yeah. For 
Krishna, most precious person in his life is Radha, Radharani. He shared, he shared, and in the Bhagavatam, of course, Shukadeva Goswami had, although he was Shukadeva Goswami, the speaker of Bhagavatam, his worshipable deity <coughs> was Srimati Radhika, so it's called Shukeshta. Shukha Ishta, Shukadeva Goswami is Ishta, worshipable deity. And then <coughs> but it, if you would talk, if he would have talked a lot about Radha or elaborately about Radha, then that could have aroused so much emotion and devotion and ecstasy and you would have become choked up ending up with losing all the external consciousness and that could have become the end of Bhagavad Katha. So it had to go on for seven days and seven nights. So Sukadeva Goswami, he had a personal reason why he was Aradhika Noonam. Yeah, that's only a very, very indirect, vague mention. But devotees know. Those who know Bhagavatam, they know. <coughs> this Radha is being talked about, but not by mentioning name or not directly. <coughs> But other than Bhagavatam, there are other, other Puranas, there's a lot of mention of Radha, Rani. And then Chaitanya Charita Amrit is also full of Radha. Krishna talks, so that's why Chaitanya Charita Amrit is considered the post-graduation course. And more confidential scripture dealing with Radha Krishna or Radha also. The holy name. Hmm? And the holy name. And they had when there was a recitation of Bhagavatam for sake of King Parikshit was going on and of course others joined. They heard some you know, big drums and kettle drums and bugles and these big instruments. They had kept them ready. Acharya is explained like this. Just in case, just in case, Sukadeva Goswami he would in his ex ecstasy would go go in hide inside and he would not be he may become speechless or 
lose all the external consciousness. Then the idea was to use those big, big drums, beat them, to get, get sick. They go, please, please, get up, wake up, come out, please continue with the katha. So they had, just in case of emergency, like of that sort, they had, they were prepared with the 